Hi guys, it's me Teacher Gon. In our today's video, magkakaroon tayo ng simple or katuwaan lang na tutorial on how to solve this kind of problem na nakita ko last year sa isang anime and then I shared it to my Facebook page at marami nag-react about this one. So as you can see, there's a question here. Printer of Futsu, can you solve can you solve this? So babagay natin siya ngayon. Lagay natin Teacher Gon. Can you solve this? So, yun yung gagawin natin dyan. So, given that problem na ginagawa ni teacher, it's not yet done solving. So, paano ba natin i-unpack or hanapin yung value ng variables na yan? So, if you're familiar with systems of linear equation, yan ay solving systems of linear equation. Pero anong method? Actually, that will fall under substitution method. So, una, paano ba i-solve yung ganyang problem? So, copy muna natin yung ating mismong equations. We have the system of x plus 2y is equal to 5. This one is the first equation. And then, you have y is equal to 3x minus 1. This is your second equation. So, bakit kaya systems of linear equation ang ginamit ni teacher? Possible na ay yung topic nila. And then, another possible reason is because meron ng isolated value, which is yung y natin, that is equal to 3x minus 1. So, mas madali talaga ang gumamit ng substitution method. So, paano ba ginagawa yan? So, try natin na. Eh. Una, as you can see, meron na si teacher na sinulat na x plus 2 times 3x minus 1. Pero hindi pa tapos yan. Ang um, ginawa dyan ni teacher, bakit, paano siya, sir, paano siya naging substitution method? As you can see, yung y mo dito is isolated na and the value of y, the temporary value of y is 3x minus 1. Diba? So we can easily transform or substitute this to the first equation. As you can see, ito yan. Oh. Itong part na to, ito siya. We're in Ang ginawa natin, pakita ko lang sa inyo ha, using the first equation, x plus 2y is equal to 5. Ang ginawa niya, since y is equal to 3x plus 1, kinopya niya yung x plus 2 times yung value ng y, which is 3x plus 1, pinalit niya lang. Kaya siya tinawag na substitution method. So you have 3x minus 1 and then equal to 5. So continue natin. And then, simplify lang natin yung ating equation. You can get x plus 6x minus 2. So, 2 times 3x, that is 6x. 2 times negative 1, that will give you minus 2 or negative 2. And then, equal to 5. Then, after this, or after that equation, solve for the value of x. So, combine like terms muna tayo. You can get 7x. And then, itong negative 2 transpose natin sa kabila. From negative, it will become positive. So you have 5 plus 2. And simplifying this, it will give you 7x is equal to 7. And then, to solve for the value of x, kasi yun ang kailangan natin. In solving systems of linear equation, dapat meron ka munang makuwang isang variable to get the other variable. So given this one, divided by 7. So you can have x is equal to 1. Ito na yung value ng x mo. We're in... Kung meron ka ng value ng isang variable, let's say for example, itong situation natin, meron ka ng x. Ang mangyayari, you can choose uh, the, between these two equations para mahanap si y. So, kung ako papapiliin, yung second equation ang gagamitin ko. Bakit? Kasi, isolated na si y. At kapag sinubstitute mo yung value ng x mo, automatic, you can get the value of y. So, pakita ko sa inyo, eh. this is your x. And then to solve for y, you can use y is equal to 3x minus 1, which is your second equation. And since your x is equal to 1, ipalit mo yan dito. Diba? So magiging y is equal to 3 times 1 minus 1. And simplify mo lang yung equation, you can have y is equal to 3 minus 1, which is y is equal to 2. Ito na ngayon yung value ng y. Now, what are the solutions of the given equation? So the solution of this one is none other than Y 
1,2. Yan yung solution ng ating systems of linear equation. I hope na natuto kayo sa ating katuwang video tutorial about this anime problem. Or in, natuwa lang din ako kasi, di ba, sa anime nakikita mo rin na apli, ano, pinapakita rin yung mathematics. Kasi yung settings, yung settings nitong mismong anime na to is within the school din. So again, if bago ka na sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like and subscribe para updated ka sa ating mga future uploads. At i-hit mo na rin syempre yung bell button. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!